so, uh, in fact, a couple of weeks ago, I think Lori had a, a, uh, an after service thing for the kids that was a story about a fellow who can't write a story until he realizes um, that, uh, I think it was Ralph, right? Until he realizes that everything's a story. <laughs> And he starts to be able to write those stories down and tell those stories and share them with others. And that's, that's, that's kind of what we're about. It's, uh, it's one of the reasons we gather together uh, as, as a church family, as a community of faith, is to share the story of Jesus, to share the stories of the Bible, to learn from them, to understand them better, so that we can understand each other better in the world and, and God. It all comes from the story. So this week, this week is one of those times when um, we can actually follow the story day to day. And so this year, to help you follow the story today, day to day, because we're not able to be here to share it, um, we, we made these little kits. I know, it looks like a brown paper bag. So I'm just going to warn you, this afternoon, if you live in Pinocchio or Basham, are part of our regular worshiping community, um, one of these might appear on your front porch. Do not stomp on it because it looks like it's just a brown paper bag. Um, it'll have a sticker on it. It says Rising Spirit Ministry. This is your Holy Week Journey Kit. So, in the kit, you'll find, it's very simple, you'll find this piece, which is uh, each day there's a, there's a story, a piece of the story, a question for you to wonder about, and a short prayer. And so our hope is that each day you'll get out your kit, you'll read the story, wonder a little bit about the question, and share the prayer. And you can do this uh, by yourself, you can do this with your family, uh, you can Zoom with somebody and share your uh, thoughts about the question and, and about the story. Uh, it's just a way to take a moment each day uh, to wonder about the story and see how we might connect to it, how it might be part of our lives. And particularly, because we can't gather together to do that, it's important, I think, sometimes to take a moment and just be part of the story. And so, in addition to this, there are some other things in here that when you first open the bag, you're going to think, what the... Um, although one is, for today, there's a palm cross. You'll also find, I'm not explaining these, you'll have to read the thing when you get it. There's a piece of string. It's going to do double duty, by the way. There is some coins, unless somebody went through this bag and removed them because they needed some loose change. You'll find some coins. You might remember what part of the story that's for. There's a stone in here, too. You'll also find a couple of sticks, which you're going to use on Good Friday. And a candle, a little tea light candle. You'll find package of seeds, and, surprise, a little egg. It's got a little loop on it, by the way, so that you can hang it up just to remind you of what the day is all about, new life. Ooh, I'm giving stuff away, aren't I? The point is, the point is um, that in this package is a bunch of stuff to help you follow the story all week. What's re also really important to remember is, there's a, here's a reminder, always wash your hands, before and after. When we put these packages together, we did, we absolutely did. The people who are going to come and deliver these to your porch this afternoon, they're going to put it on the porch, they're going to ring your bell and run away like, you know, kids used to do. Um, but, but we're have being as careful as we possibly can, so you remember to be two, please. Um, if you happen to not live in Pinoka or Basha or the area, and, or we don't know where you are for some reason, uh, and we don't get to you, you can also download a PDF um, from our page of, of this piece, but it's been edited a little bit to allow you to do it as a do-it-yourself, um, where you provide your own uh, pieces each day. The idea, of course, is to not just tell a story with words, but to be able to touch something, to be able to hold something that connects to the story, um, something that we can't do with each other right now as part of that story. Um, but this is the thing. 